who could have imagined a rookie would shape the WNBA's foundations so intensely? Left shoulder. Austin had her 11th double-double of the season, and Clark hits a three. Caitlin Clark didn't just arrive in the league. She revolutionized it. In a regular season that'll go down in history, Clark proved that expectations were far too small for her extraordinary talent. From breaking records to sold out arenas, from initial criticism to unanimous praise, Clark's journey has been nothing short of spectacular. And now, with the Rookie of the Year award in hand, she silences the skeptics and establishes herself as one of the greatest promises women's basketball has ever seen. Diana Taurasi and Cheryl Swoops must be asking themselves, why did I doubt this rookie? I shouldn't have done that. But make no mistake, this is just the beginning. Clark's horizon isn't limited to rookie trophies. With MVP in her sights and an entire career ahead, we're witnessing the birth of an era. The era of Caitlin Clark in the WNBA. Clark's story doesn't begin with the WNBA draft, but long before, on the courts of Iowa. From early on, it was clear that Clark wasn't an ordinary player. Her shooting ability, court vision, and on-court leadership set her apart as one of the greatest prospects in college basketball. The buzz around Clark grew with each game. Analysts, fans, and even pro players couldn't take their eyes off her. The question wasn't if she'd be drafted into the WNBA, but how high she'd be selected. Then came the big day. With the first overall pick in the 2024 draft, the Indiana Fever selected Caitlin Clark. Expectations were astronomical. Some saw her as the franchise's savior, others as the future face of the league. But with great expectations come great pressures. When Caitlin Clark entered the WNBA, she faced not only the pressure of being the first draft pick and the sky-high expectations of fans, she also had to deal with criticism and doubts from some of the greatest legends in women's basketball. Diana Taurasi, widely considered one of the best players of all time, was one of the most prominent voices expressing doubts about Clark. Before Clark even played her first WNBA game, Taurasi commented, reality is coming. Cheryl Swoops, another women's basketball legend, also questioned if Clark would be ready for the physical rigor of the pro league. These criticisms weren't necessarily ill-intended. Many veterans saw them as a kind of welcome to the pro world, a way to prepare Clark for the challenges she'd face. However, for many fans and observers, these comments seemed unfairly skeptical, especially considering Clark's impressive college basketball record. The skepticism wasn't limited to individual players. There was a general questioning of whether Clark's playing style, characterized by long range shots and daring passes, would be effective against the WNBA's more sophisticated defenses. Some analysts predicted she'd struggle to find space for her shots and that her attempts at spectacular passes would result in turnovers. If the criticism and doubt served as fuel for Caitlin Clark, her on-court response was nothing short of explosive. From the first whistle of the season, Clark made it clear she wasn't in the WNBA just to participate, but to dominate. Clark also showed she could adapt when teams started planning specific defenses for her, she adjusted her game. If she couldn't shoot, she created for her teammates. If the defense was too close, she used her speed to penetrate. Her versatility became her greatest weapon. As the season progressed, initial criticisms transformed into praise. The same veterans who previously expressed doubts now spoke of Clark with admiration. Caitlin Clark's playing style is a fascinating blend of traditional skill and modern innovation. It's as if she took the basketball manual, deeply respected it, and then rewrote it in her own way. Her shot is legendary. Clark's ability to score from practically anywhere on the court forces defenses to guard her as soon as she crosses half court. 
but it's not just the distance that impresses, it's the quickness and fluidity of her movement. Clark can go from dribbling position to shooting in the blink of an eye, leaving defenders with no reaction. Her dribbling is another crucial aspect. Clark has exceptional ball control, using changes of pace and direction to create space. She's not the fastest player in the league in a straight line, but her ability to quickly change speeds makes her practically unguardable one-on-one. -on -one. However, what really separates Clark from other great scorers is her court vision and passing ability. She has an almost supernatural ability to see plays before they happen. Passes that would be risky or impossible for most players are routine for Clark. She can find teammates with precise passes through gaps in the defense that no one else sees. The combination of these skills makes Clark a nightmare for opposing defenses. If you guard her closely to prevent the shot, she dribbles past you. If you back off to prevent penetration, she shoots in your face. And if you send help defense, she finds the open teammate with a precise pass. What makes Clark's playing style truly unique is her confidence and boldness. She's not afraid to try spectacular plays or difficult shots in crucial moments. This kind of confidence is contagious, elevating the play of the entire team. Clark's impact on the Indiana Fever goes far beyond impressive individual statistics. She not only elevated her own game, but completely transformed the franchise, both on and off the court. Before Clark's arrival, the Fever was in a long drought, having missed the playoffs for several consecutive seasons. The team struggled to find its identity and often occupied the bottom positions in the WNBA standings. Clark's arrival changed all that. With Clark commanding the offense, the team became one of the most dynamic and unpredictable in the league. The pace of play increased, the ball moved more fluidly, and suddenly players who previously struggled to stand out were having the best seasons of their careers. The improvement was drastic. The fever went from one of the worst teams in offensive efficiency to one of the best. The team's average points per game increased significantly, and the number of assists skyrocketed. But it wasn't just the offense that improved. The energy and enthusiasm Clark brought seemed to infect the entire team, resulting in a more tenacious defense and a renewed team spirit. The results didn't take long to appear. The fever started winning games that would have been considered impossible before. Victories against top teams became common, and soon the fever was no longer seen as an easy opponent, but as a real threat. Rookie of the Year, a unanimous choice. As the regular season came to an end, the discussion about who would be the WNBA Rookie of the Year practically ceased. Caitlin Clark's consistent and spectacular performance throughout the season left little room for debate. When the official announcement was made, it wasn't a surprise, but rather a confirmation of what many already considered a fact. Caitlin Clark was unanimously chosen as the WNBA Rookie of the Year. A unanimous selection is a rare and notable feat, especially in a league as competitive as the WNBA. It means that every voter, whether journalist, analyst, or former player, agreed that Clark not only stood out among rookies, but dominated the category in a way that left no doubts. Clark's numbers spoke for themselves. She led all rookies in scoring, assists, and minutes played. But it wasn't just the statistics that guaranteed her unanimous victory. It was the palpable impact she had on the Indiana Fever and the league as a whole. With a historic debut season and the Rookie of the Year award secured unanimously, the question everyone is now asking is, what's the limit for Caitlin Clark? The future seems infinitely bright for the young star, and many already see her as a serious MVP candidate in the coming seasons. Clark's potential to become MVP isn't just idle speculation from enthusiastic fans. 
it's a real possibility based on what she has already demonstrated she's capable of doing. Leave a comment sharing your predictions for Clark's future. Will she win MVP? Will the fever reach the finals? What records do you think she'll break next? Subscribe to the channel and respond to me in the comments. See you there.